telling someone and they asked me, would you repeat that again? I was interested in going into broadcasting. I'm adopted. And that was my key out. I wanted to make my mama proud of me. I was, a pr I was very much appreciative of what she's done for my brother and sister and I. And that was my way out. And I went over to a radio station, asked a guy that, and told him that I was interested in broadcasting. He looked at me in my straw hat and my overalls. He said, you have any broadcasting background? I said, no, sir, I don't. What do you do? I cut grass. <laughs> Young ladies asked me what kind of work I do, and I was working on a garbage truck. I said, well, I'm a sanitary technician. <laughs> he said, we don't have any job for you. I decided that that was something I was going to do. I decided I'm unstoppable. I'm going to go up and hit. I'm going to do this. I started going to the radio station every day, developing a relationship with the people that were doing what I wanted to do. And that's what I encourage you to do. Where, whatever area you want to go in, find people that are doing it the way you want to do it and develop a relationship with them. When I decided to go in this area, I wrote letters to Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, to Zig Ziglar, to Dennis Waitley, all of the giants in this area. And I said, this is something I want to do. I've been following your career. Would you help me? Dr. Norman Vincent Peale answered my letter, did an article on me, wrote about me in the most recent book that he issued, and done many broadcasts about me. I'd wanted to develop a relationship and rapport with those people that were achieving those things that I wanted to achieve. By the same token, I would go to the radio station, and I developed a relationship with the guys. And they used me as an errand boy when they needed some food or someone to go pick up entertainers that came into town. Temptation singing, My Girl, Jerry Butler singing, For Your Precious Love, Sam Cooke singing, Darling, You Send Me. I would pick up the entertainers at the airport and drive them around in the disc jockeys, big Cadillacs. They didn't have any driver's license, but I was acting like I had some. <laughs> Every day I used to go home and work on my communication skills, developing myself. It was Whitney Young, he said, it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. <laughs> Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. And when the disc jockeys were in the control room, I would go in and watch them and develop a trust level and they would let me stay and I would watch and observe them working the controls. When you want something out of life, don't worry about how you're going to get it. How is none of your business. <laughs> the most difficult thing it is, is to hold the vision. It's to hold the vision. So there I was at the radio station. A guy was on the air and he started to drink by the name of Rock. I was outside the window looking at him and watching. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> and ready saying, drink, rock, drink. <laughs> Pretty soon, the phone rang. It was the general manager. I said, hello? He said, Les, this is Mr. Klein. I said, I know. He said, Rock can't finish his program. He's slurring his words. I said, I know. Can you work the controls until one of the other disc jockeys come in? Would you call them? I said, yes, sir. I hung the phone up. I said, now he must be thinking I'm crazy. I called my mom and my girlfriend Cassandra, said, y'all come out on the front porch and turn up the radio. I'm about to come on the air. <laughs> I waited about 15 minutes. I called him back. I said, Mr. Klein, I can't find nobody. <laughs> he said, well, why don't you go in there and work the controls until they get there? And don't say nothing here. I said, yes, sir. I couldn't wait to sit down at that turntable, Mustafa. I said, look out, this is me, LB, Triple P, Les Brown, your platter, plan Papa. There were none before me and there will be none after me. Therefore, that makes me the one and only. Young and single and love to mingle, certified, bona fide, and indubitably qualified to bring you satisfaction and a whole lot of action. Look out, baby, I'm your love man. I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs>